back, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, you're very kind. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, save it for my next guest, because you're going to love him. He's a comedian, a podcast pioneer, and an actor you know from GLOW. Please welcome back to The Late Show, Mark Marin. <laughs> Mark Marin. How are you, man? Nice to see you again. Last time I saw you, we were sitting down uh, in a recording studio to do your uh, WTF. Uh, that right. My, we did my show. Did your so I very in, much enjoyed talking in to you. In your building. Right. In the little studio. Because that here. was the only choice I had, Stephen. Well, because I do, I do a show every day, and so it's hard for me to go. To, where do you live? To Los Angeles. I couldn't where go the there. other show business is. You couldn't. I, the mothership. You yeah. live out with the mothership out there. I, I didn't mind doing it for you. you know, Thank you very I, much. I, I waited years to talk to you. Sure. And, uh, you so you've talked to me many times. No, you've but on the podcast, times. and you sequestered me in a strange room in the building. Yes. I did. And uh, I brought my own equipment, but you had guys come in with their own equipment, mm -hmm. right? So what I'm saying is, I think you controlled the narrative on that, Stephen. <laughs> I, I know what you were You're up welcome. to. You were like, You're we welcome. got a set amount of time. Go ahead, do what you do, Mark, is I think what you said. I believe I did say that, and yeah. you did what you did, and I very much enjoyed it. Thank you. I think you. we had a nice time. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. <laughs> I think it was a very good show. I think yeah. we got deep. You recited poetry. We talked about dark I'm sorry things. Sorry about that. Nobody no, wants to everybody hear poetry. No one wants to hear everybody. poetry. I think Nobody, that, not really. Well, I think my experience was, that was a little disconcerting is like, so we finish the interview, and when I do it at my house, you know, I walk people out. We take a picture. This is how it ended up in your place. You're like, we good? Okay. And you left the room. <laughs> and there I was sitting with your people and your equipment, going like, I guess I leave now. Yeah, like so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it yeah. was okay. I thought it was great, yeah. and it was nice to get to know you like that. But now I yeah. feel like we're strangers again. You got to look. I'm going to end this interview exactly the same way. I know. <laughs> He's going to tell me we're good. I'm walking that way. And you leave me here? I leave you right there. You'll you leave throw, me and here. And you throw out to commercial, okay? Yeah, I could do sure, that. You want to do that? Yeah, I sure. Yeah, I know you're just coming down from a, a Kate Blanchett buzz. Yes, I, can, I, am. I can. I am. I can see Mark, it in your Mark, eyes. Right? It's Mark, Mark Maron. Exactly, yeah, exactly. I'm still seeing Kate you did Blanchett. My, yeah, you did my podcast. Yeah. When she was walking out, I tried to have just a little high, high, you know, look at me yeah. moment. Nothing. Got nothing. <laughs> she she walked by me. I, you know that weird look where you hope somebody notices you and you're like, huh? And, and <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, like, like yeah. I worked here. She, wow. like, like, it was like I just cleaned the toilets or something. Yeah. I got nothing. Hey. How you doing? All right. Do nice that. to see you. Nice to see you too. Thousand, you're coming up on a thousand, or do you just celebrate? You're about to do a your we've thousand. Done a, no, we did. A, we've done over a thousand episodes of WTF about the podcast. 10 years. It's about we're coming up on ten years. Yeah. And uh, I still get nervous and excited to talk to people. Mm -hmm. It's a little weird now because I originally did it in my garage. And my, I have a new house, and the garage is being worked on. So now we have to do it in, in my actual house, oh. upstairs, in one of the bedrooms, which is awkward. That is. You know, I, I, had, I don't I, go into your house and you say, come on upstairs of, to yeah, the bedroom. It's kind of like that. <laughs> That's what happens. Yes. Like, Letterman came over. I talked to David Letterman. Oh. He, and I had to be like, well, this is the kitchen. Now we're going up to the bedroom. How do you feel about that? <laughs> so... But he was all right about it. Like yeah. recently, it just, but I think it adds another dimension to what I do, and it's not bad. Because, you know, when someone's at your home, yeah. you know, they're, they're like, they take in your life. And it was always like that with the old place, but it was smaller. But like, sure. there's, there's judgment a, there. There's judgment. But it's fine. The new house is pretty. The other house is sort of like, no, oh, this is kind of sad. So, like, um, <laughs> but Bruce Dern comes over. Oh, now, wow. Bruce Dern, the great Bruce, the great Dern. Bruce Dern, yeah. is 83. Okay, now here's, here's the new problem of what, what I'm dealing with is there are stairs. There are stairs. Oh, no. He's 83. He's usually pretty spry, 83 he is, but he had recently had a little hip problem, right? So there's stairs coming into the house, which he was having a hard time with. Oh. So, like, right, right at, out of the gate, I'm like, this is going to be a problem. I don't even know if I'm going to get Bruce Dern up the main stairs. So we get him in. We get him up the stairs. It worked out. Take you back? What would you do? No, no. A couple. We helped him up. You know, a couple, okay. me and uh, his, right. uh, his person. And then we get him into the room. It's a great interview. But I have this moment where I think, like, he's going to have to live here now. Because I, I don't... 
How am I going to get him down the stairs? Oh, this can't be He's done. already in the bedroom. Exactly. It's it's fine. Just lie down. Yeah, you're lie down. good here. Eat some tea or I'll something like that. I'll tell your daughter you're here, and if yeah. you got to do a movie, we'll get a car for you. Yeah. Uh, I tell you, we have to take a little bit of a break, but I understand you did a, uh, a movie with uh, Robert De Niro recently. Yes, I did. I want to hear all about that. Stick around for Mark Marin and Bobby D.